quick video in case you are running a Mac computer and you're trying to install Alice or really any other program that's downloaded from the internet um, or anywhere that's not the App Store. So right now I've got Alice downloaded and if I click on it, it brings up this uh, Alice installer or any installer can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer and it has this picture of a house with a safe and a caution mark on it. So just click OK and what we're going to do is go up to the Apple icon in the top left of your screen, click on System Preferences and then on the first row on the personal row there's this uh, security and privacy options. So click on that and in the the second set of options under allow applications downloaded from notice it says Mac App Store and identified developers what we want to do is actually change that to anywhere so I'm gonna click on the unlock button and just put in my name and password so I uh, entered my name and password, now it's uh, OK, and I'm going to click on the Anywhere, because temporarily we want, we want to be able to install applications that are downloaded from anywhere, because Alice is one of those Anywhere applications. And it's going to ask you again, are you sure you want to do this? Anywhere makes Alice makes your Mac less secure, and for right now, because we know Alice is from a trusted source, it's, it's from a university, we're going to click OK, Allow. and um, then when we click on the Alice installer, it'll say give us a third caution like Alice installer is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And yes, we're we're sure. So we're gonna click open, and um, in a second when that opens up, it'll allow us to just do the normal install. We can click next and just keep going through the install like you would any other program. Um, so for right now, I'm gonna cancel that, and you know how to install it from there. Uh, so we cancel that and when your Alice installer is done go back to your uh, go back to your system preferences back to the security and privacy option and go back from anywhere to the Mac store and identify developers because you want your uh, program you, you want to keep it safe your computer and it's a good idea once you're done just to go back and relock it and then you can close it so that's how you can uh, get around the uh, can't install Alice on your uh, computer. And that'll work for not just Alice, but any other third-party developers um, that aren't on the App Store that you want to install. So yeah, good luck.